Hi, this is Shreng Siddharth and welcome to the next video of this course of Java Fundamentals and Basics. In this tutorial, I will simply talk about the ternary operators that are another control statements in Java. And this ternary operator is represented with the help of a question mark and a colon. And the usage of ternary operator is somewhat similar to the if else statement. So let's check out its syntax. So the ternary operator as already said, it is similar to if else conditional statements. So how it is similar to if else statement, let's check it out. If the condition is true, execute expression 1. Else execute the expression 2. So how can we write these three statements with the help of ternary operator in Java? So here down the side, using the ternary operator, you can simply write this whole statement in just one statement by using condition question mark expression 1 colon expression 2. So here if the condition is true then simply execute expression 1 else execute expression 2. Similarly here as well if the condition is true simply execute expression 1 else simply execute expression 2. So this is the literal meaning of this statement. So here inside the IntelliJ IDE, I have written some code. I have defined integer a equal to 2, integer b equal to 3 and here I have simply defined the integer minimum value. So here if a is smaller than b, then minimum becomes a, else minimum becomes b. So the target of this code is actually to find the minimum value among a and b. So how can we represent this if else condition? with the help of the ternary operator in Java. So down the side, let us do one thing. Here, this is our condition, right? So let us use a is smaller than b. Put it inside the bracket. And then the ternary operator is actually represented with the help of question mark and colon. Fine. So here, after this condition, let us put a question mark. And then if the condition is true, then simply assign minimum equal to a. So here what I will do, I will simply write a. Else using the colon, we can write the else part. So else execute expression 2 that is b. And now here it says not a statement. So on the left hand side, what we can do, we can use this minimum variable. So min equal to this part. So let me explain you again. If this condition is true, then simply assign a to this minimum variable. Else simply assign b to this minimum variable. And now let us print out the minimum variable and let's check the output. But first let me comment this part. And now let's run our code. So here inside the console, you can see we have got a as the output that is the value of a 2. So the minimum variable represents the value of 2. So our code is working perfectly fine. So this was all about the ternary operator. It is very simple and precise and a good coder always try to shorten his code. So here we have shortened our five lines of code into just one line of code. Pretty simple and pretty awesome. So here, let me remove it and we are good to go. So this was all about the ternary operator in Java. And once again, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and please like the video and share the video as well. Thank you for watching and have a good day.